we've created a model of the human lung that has most of the cells in it that a lung would have. And we're gonna use this model to evaluate what happens to your lung on long-term space flight. We're using stem and progenitor cells. They're the cells that give rise to the cells that allow you to have gas exchange and breathe. The larger mission is to eventually someday be able to, instead of make pieces this big, is to make a lung this big for transplantation for somebody. If you're gonna look at what atoms do that affects a molecule, that alters a cell, that changes how a tissue responds, that alters how an organ functions, that changes how you function, you have to be able to walk it back and say, I can look at it at these small levels and build this picture of what's happening in a person. That all may be very different in space because microgravity influences everything that a cell does. And the opportunity to have a chance to send an experiment to space and get data back is huge for a scientist. It happens once in your lifetime.